When you look at President Kimball's talk again, a copy of which will be distributed following this conference, may I ask you to pay particular attention to that sweet prophet's effort to ask that we be unique. In his discourse, President Kimball used the word unique eight times and special eight more times. It seems clear to me in my 73 years of loving it that BYU will become an educational Mount Everest only to the degree it embraces its uniqueness, its singularity. We could mimic every other university in this world until we get a bloody nose in the effort. And that world would still say, BYU who? No, we must have the will to be different, to stand alone if necessary, being a university second to none in its role primarily as an undergraduate teaching institution that is unequivocally true to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If at a future time that mission means foregoing some professional affiliations and certifications, then so be it. There may come a day when the price we are asked to pay for such association is simply too high, too inconsistent with who we are. No one wants it to come to that, least of all me. But if it does, we will pursue our own destiny, a destiny that is not a matter of chance, but largely a matter of choice, a destiny not a thing to be waited for, but a thing to be envisioned and achieved.